Hello there, it's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon in battle to develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Okay, so you're Sina? A fine name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Barry, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes. Alright, Sina, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on and leave me to the world of Pokemon. Despite the exploration since best efforts, the rare outly color Pokemon eluded detection. The rumor read Gyarados failed to appear even frequently to the Crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Garados, brought to you by Jubilee TV National on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Hi, I'm Sina Nerasina. Welcome to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Before we start, I will just want to adjust some things. First, the ones related to the audio of the game. Okay, this is much better. I could barely hear myself, you know, trying to talk. Okay, yeah, it's okay, yeah, uh-huh. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna set this to auto. Because, I don't know, manual, it just seems a lot of text boxes. Or who knows? I I'm just gonna leave it on auto for now. If we need, I mean, we can always change it back. Uh huh. Yes, it's okay. And for the window, hmm, there's a lot of windows. I actually like this one. Fast text because, of course, yes. Alright, so now we can properly start our, our adventure. Oh, I don't have running shoes, really? Oh, this is just... Uh, I thought, you know, I could check my PC. This is my bed. Oh, she closes her eyes. That's really cute. Uh, press the X button to open the menu. Okay, thank you. I already knew that. Oh, hey, it's a chance you're have me on the TV. That's pretty cute, too. Sina, Barry came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what that about, but he said it was an emergency. Here we are, the contest digest. Digest, sorry. The start of the show today's normal rank doubleness contest is Dominic Wolverhelm with his early vocal Pokemon. That's all the time we have for today. Let's meet again. Most favorite the series in refrigerator. All right. I'm actually hungry. This is where mom does all her delicious cookies. Alright. Ouch, sorry. Just trying to adjust my feet. You know how important Barry is? He took off before I could even ask what was that about. Oh yes, Sina, don't go into the tall grass. What Pokemon may attack you? It will be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Uh, yes, thank you for pointing the obvious to me, mom. Although, to be, to be fair, monks are like that, aren't they? They like to point the obvious when we are children because, you know, it may be not obvious for us as children. 
or sometimes even as adults, they, they keep doing that. I guess it's for habit. What was... Uh, sorry. What was that all about? Oh, hey, Sina. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Hey, Sina, I'm finding you 1 million P if you're too late. Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Okay. Well, let's go to the lake, I guess. Wait, is this guy trying to stop me? Of course he's going to stop. Uh, I haven't played this game, you know, ever since the first... The originals came out. So, I, I, my mind is... My memory is not fresh. I better take my bag and guide me too! Oh, hey, Sina, we're going to the lake. I've been waiting on the road. It's a 10 million P in your plate. All right. Wow, you sure can run. I mean, I wish I could, too. Hey, you saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know the search for the Red Carolus, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake? That show could be Tinky. I believe locally has a Pokemon like that in it too, so that's what we're going to do. We'll find a Pokemon like that. Okay, so yeah, uh, when these games came out, I mean the originals, Diamond and Pearl, I think that was the last... Alright, to the lake, let's find our also Red Gyarados. I think that was the last Pokemon uh, generation where I was, you know, a symbol. And then, what's going on? Sorry. Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, it might, I might have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, enough that, uh, it's enough that we've seen the lake. Lucas, we're leaving. Professor, you've been gone for f four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sino? Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many ki rare kinds of Pokemon in Sino. The region should ser serve us very well in regards to our studies. Alright. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Sorry, folks. What was that about? Those two! Hey, huh? See now, let's go check this out! What's that? Don't go into a tall grass? No problem, no problem! We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out! It's a briefcase? Those people forgot it here, what are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor! What, well, uh, Pokemon? What's going on? Alright, time to pick our Pokemon. Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want then? No, not Torquic. Definitely not Chimchar. Now, here we go. Piplop. We'll choose the Penguin Pokemon Piplop. I sure will. So, yeah, I remember, like, pre-ordering these games you know when pre-orders were uh normal things you could do without people being assholes about it uh, so yeah what i'm trying to say is fox sculptors if i could that will be like the title of the episode fox sculptors because who doesn't feel like that and if you're a scalper and you're watching this, fuck you! But anyways, enough swearing for one episode. So, uh, yeah, I remember I, uh, you know, a friend of my mom was going to the States. Uh, and I remember I saw on somewhere, I don't remember, I think it was the internet. Ah, your people of Tori rock! But my Tori was way tougher than yours, they were at other people's Pokemon, but... We have to use them. These people won't mind, will they? We, we, you found the briefcase? The professor would have gone through the roof if he knew I forgot it here. What? 
did you guys, did you use those Pokemon? Oh man, how am I gonna explain this to the professor? This isn't the professor's briefcase, so I'll take it, okay? What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Zina. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might get in trouble. So, yeah. Uh, uh, I gave her some money so she could, you know, pre-order the game for me. You go ahead. I know we have to return these Pokemon. They are not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Uh, so... I remember the pre-orders came with a special stylus, it was, you know, since I asked for diamond, I was expecting a Dialga stylus, but I guess they either didn't have it in the store, or my mom's friend didn't know what, what to expect to receive from the bonus, so I got a Palkia instead, and it's pretty ugly to be honest, I, I don't like Pal Palkia, I prefer Dialga. Hey, it's those people, the old guy is staring at us? Huh. I heard from Lucas that you use our Pokemon? Let me see them, please. Huh. Piplop and Thorwick. Oh, I see. That's how it is. Lucas, I'm going back to my lab. To my lab, sorry. Uh, y yeah, of course, Professor. Wait for me. You should visit us at our lab later, I think. We'll be seeing you. What was that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. Why? Well, I didn't think he wants his Pokemon back. Sina, we should go, go. We should go home too. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Barry are on harm? The professor you mentioned is more likely Professor Rowan of Sanjian Town. I heard that he's well known for his studies of Pokemon. I heard he's also quite intimidating. Sina, I think you may need to visit him in Sanjian Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know, Sina. Put this on. Oh, finally. Thank you. Going to Sanjian Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Yes, yes, I know how to use running shoes. Well, isn't that just nifty? So yeah, uh, you can apparently move using the the joystick and the D-pad, but you can run with the D-pad unless you're pressing B. Uh, with the joystick, you automatically run unless you just tilt it a little instead of fully. Also, isn't this the technology amazing guy? Technology just blows me away. I mean, no one can play with people around. Now you can play with people around the world. Wildly. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna check on Barry just in case. Oh, you become uh, friends with Pokemon too. Oh, so. Nothing special. So yeah, uh, I remember my friends getting the games too and we played some time, but eventually I just traded the game for something else because I got, you know, uh, all that I needed from it. Which in hindsight, it was a big mistake. I mean, those games are pretty expensive nowadays. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please come with me. The professor's waiting to see you. See, these are Pokemon Research Lab. We'll just go ahead and... Oh. What the? Oh, it's you, Sina, the old guy. He's not as scary as much as he's totally out there. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, Sina. I'm out of here. See you later. Okay, I smell you later, loser. What was that? Your friend always seemed to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Finally, you come, Sina, was it? Let me see your that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Pulipo to you as a gift. Now, if that is yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. So, it's a male people. Uh... What will be a good name for a male people? Okay, uh, 
I was gonna name him Mr. Flippers, but I think that's pretty generic. Uh, oh, I, I know. I'm gonna name you Platinum. You know, if I didn't name all my characters Sina, I wouldn't name this particular dumb Platinum. Or, well, Platina. In honor of her manga counterpart, Platina Brawlitz. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yes. Your friend Barry told me what happened on the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite being your first time. And from that, what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and, the, and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I would like you to entrust you with Piplop. I am ever glad you are kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't well, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you, I want to trust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Yeah, sure. Ha! Huh, good answer! Thank you. That Pokedex is very high-tech device, it will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Sina, I ask that you I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walk up on Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I lived for 60 long years, even now I had I get the thrill when I'm with Pokemon. Now you should know that there are a countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Sina, your grand adventures begins right now. The professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go out and fill the Pokedex pages too. That makes us comrades working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? Alright. Professor Rowan invented a new Pokedex while working alongside Professor from Kanto Region, so Professor Rowan. I'm Lucas's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we can count on you. Alright. I mean, I, uh, hopefully this is not the prof where the professor lives. Hopefully this is just like a uh, work kitchen or something. <laughs> because there is no like beds. Where does he sleep? Hey Sina, I want to show you a few things. So follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get Pokemon Heal if it's being hurt in battle. You will find Pokemon Centers in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. Sina, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy very much stuff. But don't worry about it, okay? Oh yeah, right, Sina. You should tell your family you are helping Professor Roma put together his Pokedex. You may have to travel pretty far, so you should let someone know. Okay, but first go kill up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. You will be safe then. Okay, I'll be seeing you. But I haven't used people up like a single time. So let's just go home. Do you give me something? No. Do you give me something? No. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Let's go back to mom. Welcome home, Sina. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. What's up, Sina? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do so something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Sina. I got something that you will find useful. Guidebook. That guidebook. Take a look when you are curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You might find an answer. Jeez, a, full, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have a Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Sina. Be right by, I'll be alright by myself, dear, so you go and enjoy your adventure. 
When you express, expose to new things and experiences new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes, I would like to see the kind of Pokemon you got here. Okay, will be added to your guidebook, you can check it in your bag's key item pocket, okay? Excuse me, is little Barry here? Oh no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already, what did you? That boy shouted at us about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least want to, him to take this. Not to worry, Sina will deliver that to him. What, you, Sina? I mean, you're making me do it, so... Oh, really? You do that for me? Sina, play this to, to Barry for me. Okay. Bye-bye, Sina. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he will probably head straight to Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my Barry. Alright. Oh, Sina. You're forgetting something important. Alright. Now this is where adventure really starts. Yes, that town always did suit you well, Sina. Now off you go. Well, off I go. Just testing. Alright, so finally our adventure starts. Uh, let me just check the stats on my pre uh, people. Let's check platinum. Mild. Oh, so it increases special attack but reduces defense. Mm. This is not good. Isn't like people have specialized in special defense and defense or something like that? I will be fine. Oh, trainer card. Alright, and I can rotate. Yeah. That's pretty nice. We don't have any badges, but we can see the faces of the gym leaders in here. Alright, so the kind of contests there are, the kind of battles there are, fossils and puffins. Okay, let's continue. Oh yeah, let's talk to this guy. Uh, he doesn't have anything of interest to us. Oh, you. I work on the Pokemon. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points or HP for short? Okay, yeah, yeah. Just give me the potions, thank you. Finally, our first Pokemon. Hmm, a Starly. Now, I'm not gonna be using a Starly during this playthrough. So, I'm just gonna capture it. I'll try to capture as many Pokemon as I can. Just for the sake of it, you know, I mean, it's a Pokemon game. What will be a Pokemon game if you're not capturing things? Wait, do I... Oh, no, I don't have Pokeballs. Where I can just kill you then? I forgot that part. Whoops. Okay, we continue... I'm just gonna talk to Rowan, maybe he will give me Pokeballs. I mean, just checking. Oh, Sina. You come to show me your progress on your Pokedex? No. What's wrong? You're not going to tell me you've seen too few to bother showing me? Yes. Actually, yes. I, I just see one Pokemon. Okay, let's go to the Pokemon and... Uh, I mean, the Pokemon Center and then the Pokemon. So yeah, uh, Pokemon Diamond was the last game I played before skipping one generation. I skipped like black and white. I shouldn't have, I mean, in, in hindsight, black and white was the last la, the last good generation there was before the game started being dumbed down so much.
I eventually got to play it, but... You know, it wasn't the same as playing it when things, the things came out. I already knew about N and Getsis and everything in between, so... What's the point at that point, right? Let's buy 10. I already have potions, right? Oh yeah, the lady gave me 10, really? Actually, let me buy antidotes and paralyzed heals. Let me buy 5 of each. Uh, so yeah, I remember enjoying the, the games very much when they came out. And uh, personally, since the game just came out, I didn't notice any slowdown until much later when, you know, I, I got to see videos about it. I never noticed that the HP like lower so slowly or that the game lag at some parts. Because who pays attention to that when you buy a new game? Okay, let's see. Oh, Lucas. I didn't even move an inch. Sina, do you know how to catch Pokemon? I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so... Yeah, okay. You should have just, you know... Let me do it myself, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, I have very fond memories of, of these games. I'm not moving anything, it's just an auto thing. But, on the other hand, I wasn't like super wishing there was a remake or anything. Because I, I know how it works, after a while they release remakes, so there is no use in, you know, keep pressuring Nintendo to, or well, the Pokemon company to release a new one. A new remake, I mean. At this point, we know they will eventually be coming. And maybe at this pa at this uh, pace, we will get like, and that's how it's done. Actually, I should have lowered the target's HP some more. Yup, that's the most important thing is to lower the Pokemon HP as much as possible. See, a healthy Pokemon isn't as easy to catch. Oh yeah, they also get it to catch if you make one of your Pokemon put them to sleep. I'll be right back. Make one of your Pokemon put them to sleep or such. Here, see, now I'll give you some Pokeballs to get you started. Sorry, there was just some uh, disturbance outside. It's already over. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, you will be able to travel farther. That will, you will have better, I mean, more Pokemon. See you around. So, yeah. Uh, my dogs, like, they react to very high-pitched noises, they think like some, there's, it's another dog like uh, howling, so they start howling. It's super annoying, I won't lie to you. Let me capture something in here. Ah, Cricket Toad, uh, sure. Why not? What's your level, buddy? Oh, level 4, yeah. Yeah, I can capture that. But yeah, as I was saying, like, Pokemon, the original Pokemon Diamond, very good, and then I was talking about remakes, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I remember my point. Uh, what I was going to say is that at the paces remakes are coming out, maybe they will be able to squeeze, like, a Gen 5 remake before the Switch life ends. Maybe. Although it will have to be like with graphics like this game, so they will basically, you know, use the same engine they use for this one. Oh wow, so I bought 10 Pokeballs and Lucas gave me 20? Like yeah, this game is a little dumbed down. Remember... When... Uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out and the and the pre-order bonus for the game in America was like 200 potions. Remember how stupid that was? Remember how in Europe they gave them this very cool status of, you know, Groudon and Kyogre? 
It shakes its head back and forth, causing its antennae to hit each other and sound like a xylophone. Huh, are we gonna use a cricket dot? Eh, yeah, I guess I can use one for now. Maybe we'll find something, you know, uh, better later. You're gonna be named... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna name you Entoma. I think this is how it's written, right? Or was it like this? I don't remember. I'll just put the TH and be done with it. If you understood that reference, leave a comment. <laughs> Although it should have been a female cricket tune, but oh, whatever. Cricketon, sorry. Cricketon is the evolution, right? Oh, uh, but yeah. Uh, hopefully, like, they get another remake before the, this era ends. But who knows? At this point, who knows? Okay, let's see what else I can find in here. Ooh, a Shinx. If you're a female Shinx, I'm gonna capture you. Ooh, and you have Intimidate. That's pretty cool. No, you're a male Shinx. I'm just gonna, you know... Get rid of you. Oh, wait, you use Intimidate, right? Well, you don't have Electric-type attack, so I can just run. Yeah, I, I specifically want a female Shinx. That is Donna Shinx, that's a Bidoof. But we're gonna capture it too, because you know. We are capturing stuff. Okay, one more attack and I can throw the Pokeball. Perfect. Oh, pretty cool. But yeah, I guess I can use a potion on people Instead of going back to the Pokemon Center. It will be faster. With Nerf so still, nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. I see. Nerf of steel, you say? Huh. Okay, uh, yeah, let's use a potion, there we go, good as new, now let's look for that Shinx before we battle our first trainer, that is not a Shinx, that is a Cricketoon, Cricketot. But I can fight you for the experience, if anything. Going, going up to level 7 will be a good idea. Also, remember, I'll be playing Legends Arceus when it comes out too. I am like, eagerly awaiting for it. I wonder what kind of game it will be. They already said it was not going to be open world, which I couldn't give like a damn about it, I don't really care about open world games. I mean, I like the idea, but the thing is, at this point, it's just a gimmick. Like, it, it became like a follow the leader type of thing where everyone just puts open world in their games just because it, like, it sells. Same with Metroidvanias and, and things like that. Okay, let's capture that Starly too. Also, I think Shinx was the rare encounter in this area. And that sucks for me. Let's, sorry, let's just water gun. Perfect.
So yeah, I'm just excited to see what another studio can do with the with the license. I mean, it worked very well for Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XT Gale of Darkness. Pretty good games. If if uh, it's quite short, but you know they were pretty good. Uh, they flock in great numbers, so small they flap their wings with great power. Yeah. All right. So like. Maybe you, you didn't notice it when you were a kid, that the games were short, because maybe they were grindy. Because, you know, you're going to need some level ups before you can face the stronger trainers at the end. And I know this for a fact, because... Uh, the dogs are all out of spark. Are barking again, sorry. I was going to say I was barking, but it doesn't make any sense. So, when I was a, a kid and the games came out, well, I was a teenager at that point. I didn't get to play them for more than an hour or two. I mean, I knew the basic plot. And I always wanted to, but you know, I couldn't until, uh, like, I think it was last year. There we go. Please be a female one. Come on. Uh, sorry, we need a female Jinx. I, I'm sorry, I, I, uh, I am fixated on this idea. It's because uh, I have a friend. She really likes, you know, Jinx. Uh, looks you. Like, you know, the, the whole evolution line in, in general. Oh, perfect. And I want, you know, to capture a Shinx and name it after her nickname, which is Luxie. I mean, as I say, she likes, you know, the Shinx line. Oh, why? Like, is it, is it like harder to get a female Shinx or something? I'm aware I'm losing some time in here. So you know what? I'm gonna pause the video and once I found a female Shinx, I'll be right back. And what do you know? Just as I say that, the, the, the next encounter I got is a female Shinx. Okay, I'm gonna use... Actually, let's just drop the Pokeball. I was gonna use, uh, you know, water guns. Okay, I almost had it, but... No, no, like, no cookie. Let's try it again. Come on. Yes! Thank you. Alright, we got our chains and we didn't even damage it. Damage her. Wait, does the Cricketo has a met cara metronome with the with them? Good. I just noticed it. Oh, we're doing pretty good for ourselves in here. Okay, your name is gonna be Luxy with with two X's. Okay, and now before we go face our first trainer, let's just go back and heal. So yeah, the metronome item is pretty good for, I think, because this Pokemon can learn Fury Cutter. Yeah! It doesn't have Fury Cutter now, but I, I know, like, they will have it eventually. It's sassy, increases special defense while decreasing speed. Oof. Well, that sucks. Let's check our Luxie. Oh! Okay! It's Adamant! Perfect! Actually, yeah, this is perfect because uh, Shinx are naturally like uh, physical attack inclined. 
So we got a perfect nature like a Shinx. So <laughs> it's a good thing uh, I, you know, I decided to capture a female Shinx. So yeah, I think Shinx is going to be doing pretty good for us. I didn't even check like... Yeah, it's Adamant. Okay, it only has Tackle and Leer, but don't worry. Like, she will learn eventually. Let's go. Okay. You're a Pokemon trainer? I happen to be a Pokemon trainer! Or I meet, so battle we must! Alright. Challenge Youngster Tristan. Oh, so she should, ha uh, she should have these boys. Perfect. Oh wow, that's her. Oh, and you were a speed guide, wouldn't you? Oh, good, good for you, Starlia. I forgot to leave you and Bidoof at the, at the Pokemon Center. Too strong! Too strong! Sorry. Don't be shy about talking to trainers you like to battle. Pokemon grew stronger and stronger from battling. Okay, uh, sure, let's continue. I spy with my little eye. A trainer! A battle, please! Sure, I'll give you a battle. You're challenged by Nas La Las Natalie. <laughs> I was gonna read like Nas Natalie. Oops. I always liked the, the last design. I remember when, you know, when I was a kid, uh, I had a crush on the lasses and the picnickers. Yeah, uh, so I always, you know, they, I am very fond of their designs. Like I think on each game, like they make, you know, very work with the with the new redesign. There we go. Sorry, we do. Nothing personal, buddy. Uh, I mean, uh, I know people hate you, and I personally don't like your design very much. But you know, you look like a happy fella. You deserve to be happy. Struggle ball. Ah, perfect! Thundershock! Last Natalie is about to send out Kidoof. Nah, keep your current block now. I mean, everyone gets experience, so... Let's just depend on, on people for now. And once everyone else starts getting stronger, we can use, you know, everyone else. Sorry. Actually, I should really leave and uh, like be doof and Starly. I want to test a theory. Oh, boo! I can win. Sorry. Yeah, because we are we have the experience share thing, right? I want to see if my other two Pokemon will receive more experience if, you know, there is less Pokemon to, do, to worry about. Let's place the video in here. Let's start in here. Oh yeah, now I remember where I forgot to check on, on Cricketot. It was the ability. What ability did you have, buddy? Shed Skin. Oh, that's cool. Actually, Shed Skin is a pretty cool ability. Alright, let's continue. No battles, we're doing good. 
Okay, me and my big mouth, all right. Let's just go, there is no need to be battling this... Uh, this wild encounters unless we need to capture something. Let's have a Pokemon battle! Huh, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna win! Alright, alright. All of these kids are very arrogant. Youngster Logan. If I could do a Wolverine voice, <laughs> I, could, I would, but you know. I think it would be this Bob. Or something like that. I, I don't know. I, I haven't heard, you know, enough Wolverine to try to make, imitate his voice. Oh, wait, does this one has thunder shot? Wait, does those uh, electric dice don't resist, like, water? Interesting, I didn't know that. It's a good thing I didn't attack the Shinx, because remember I was planning to use water gun? I would have killed it right away. And we wouldn't have gotten this, you know, very good Pokemon with us. You, like, wow. Yeah, of course I'm wow. Okay, thank you for the potion. Uh, yeah, let's run. Although maybe I should capture another Cricketot for a better skill. Some Pokemon only appear in the morning, some come out at night. I'm gonna keep waiting till I hear I okay, just seen every one last of them. Alright. Oh, it's Lucas. Hey Sina, how many Pokemon have you caught? Oh, I think I should catch some more. I may be more of a challenge raising a lot of Pokemon, but it's worth it. The more Pokemon you have, the happier you will be. In Jubilee City, there's a trainer school. Check it out, Sina. Oh yeah, Barry went to a trainer school earlier. Okay, see you around. We're hiring your Pokedex. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, investigate the city. Oh, wait, I cannot go here, right? Yeah, I cannot. I'm sorry, the GWS isn't ready yet. Wasn't the GTS? I guess they, they rebranded it to something else. Just looking for items, don't worry. Don't mind me, I'm just a crazy kid looking for items. Like this one. Okay, I guess this is the trainer school. Hey, Sina, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's a trainer's job to avoid having this, their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Sina, what's brings you here? You got something for me? Oh yeah, we had a parcel. So, what, it, what is this? Score, it's a tell map! Oh, why are they two of in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Sina, you take one too. Huh? Well, according to the Talman, I guess Oribor City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just got. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Okay, see you. I think you can battle these kids. Uh, let's see. Am I ready, though? Okay, let's go to the Pokemon Center first. I don't even remember what kind of Pokemon they have, I just remember you can talk to them and battle them. Maybe I'm under level? Maybe I'm over level. No, I think I'm under level. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna level, you know, one more level. Also, let's see if there is something different in this grass that we haven't seen yet. What? Why, why was that zoomed to my face? Does that usually happen? I, I haven't been paying attention, apparently. Thank 
there you go. Nice and easy. Also, I forgot to check the experience. Uh, I think we get more or less the same, so yeah. There was no, no need of putting everyone else in the thing. In the in the PC box. So I wasn't able to find a Shinx so fast and now I hear a find two in a row. Isn't that interesting? Also this one didn't have intimidate, right? I think this one has a static body. Good good job, Antoma. Okay, let's, you know, keep leveling up. Really? Is this the, like, the Shinx patch of brass or something? Also, this one should have a static too, interesting. Although I prefer mo uh, much more Intimidate, it's gonna be useful for us in some battles later. Okay, go you, Luxie. And, I mean, P uh, Platinum and Luxie, yeah, both of them level up. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I'm ready. But you know what, I think we've been using Platinum quite a lot. Let's do someone else. Besides, depending on what kind of Pokemon the kids have, uh, it may be wise to leave Platinum as our ace in the hole. So let's put in Tom in front since she's the second strongest. And she has the metronome item, so I can just spam the same attack and it will get stronger with cheats. Battling is the best way to learn. Can we get a battle with you? Sure. Go, my Pokemon, go! Remember when Pokemon Go came out and it was all the crazy despite the fact that it was a foggy mess? Oh, an Abra! Does it only have Teleport? Well, I have a Struggle Bug. Ouch, that's rude. Ha, huh, you deserve that and more. So yeah, I remember playing it. I have I have some fond memories of it. But it was mostly because I played it, you know, along with someone special, so <laughs> that's why I remember so fondly. Because yeah, if you think about uh, if you think about it, yeah, it was Kind of a buggy mess, as I mentioned. Like, I played uh, the game when it came out, like, literally like, the first version of the game, and they kept improving it, but, you know, they took a lot of time to do it. And I don't like when games do that. Oh, snap, that's how it is then. The... It's hard to win if you don't have the same Pokemon to choose from. Uh, oh, let's check the town map. That attitude like uh, game developers have to, uh, nowadays. Oh, so this thing gi uh, gives me like a pointer to what I should be doing. All right. Let me just recover with a potion of release the game now and fix the box later. I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if I can do this properly, but may we battle? Sure. I need to try these things I learned before I forget them. I mean, the game is good now. But, you know, it, it wouldn't have been better if they waited a year or something before releasing the game. Uh, doing a, a close beta test things like that Did you understand what I'm saying, right? I'm not crazy
and it's not it, it's not like it was a, a small like indie developer i mean yeah niantic was a small developer but it was a pokemon ip you will think they will be more worried about the quality of their games to study a lot i thought i could win sorry kid not everything is in the books we were actually confident that we would do pretty good but i'm completely impressed by how tough you are if you like to talk to my friend and get some technical machine from him with you no you wow you're really good we've been stunning every day but we're no match at all uh oh i don't re i didn't remember they give you stuff Work up. Oh. Uh, I don't need that. What about you? Oh, just status conditions. No, thank you. I already knew about them. Okay, let us continue. Oh. Oh. You are a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Pokédex yet. Well, no. Pokédex is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you're a rare case indeed. You see, I invented a now manufactured Pokédex, and not only that, I'm now conducting the Pokédex promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jolly City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Pokédex. Alright. Well, I see one right there. Hi, I'm a Pocket Tech Campaign Clown. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining experience points? Yes. You are absolutely correct. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemons in battle. Some of Pokemon even change into different Pokemon through a process known as evolution. Thank you for the coupon. Random stranger in the street. Okay, looking for clowns. Ah, here you are. Hi, I'm a Pokémon campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Can a Pokémon hold an item? Yes, I actually have one with me. Ding ding, you're absolutely correct. A Pokémon may hold a single item. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I, I'm just, you know, I, I don't like to read turtle the stuff as much as just regular dialogue. Hi, I'm a Pokémon campaign. Uh, let's roll out the question. Yes, yes. Just like Pokémon, do moves. Of the Pokemon also have types? Yes. Ding ding, you're absolutely correct. If a Pokemon type matches the type from it uses, that Pokemon is made more and more powerful. Much more powerful, sorry. Okay, just looking for items. Don't mind me. No, no, nothing, really? Oh well. Yes, sir, as an old road is a good thing, you think I do I am? Yeah, sure. Good answer, let's be friends, here you go, that's my old road. Alright, thank you, kind stranger. You should find, you should fish where there's a body of water. Uh, no, I don't need tips. But I will equip the rod. I see a body of water right there. Okay. So it says we press start. Oh. I told you I knew, uh, I knew how to fish, old man. Well, let's capture this magic card. You encounter a wild magic card. Uh, it's level 3, so hopefully Pound doesn't kill it. Uh, actually, I can damage it one more time. Hopefully I don't get a critical hit. Perfect! 
All right, now you're my magic orb. Excellent. Da -da 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 -da. It is said to be the world's weakest Pokemon. No one knows why it managed to survive. Eh, I mean, I guess he was very persistent. Looking for items. There is a person in here. I asked my boyfriend to meet me in here on Route 218, but he's nowhere to be seen. And a window. Alright, nothing of interest in here, I guess. Alright, we're looking for clowns, right? Are you... No, you're not the last one. You in here are the last one, right? Oh no, so it was you. How I didn't see you? Wait, I already talked to all three, so I guess I have to go back to this guy, right? Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll just pull out my pocket deck here and one, two, three. Bravo, I say bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon watch. Or... I call it Pokétech because Pokéch, Pokét, no sé, I mean, I cannot pronounce it. You receive a Pokétech. You can add apps to your Pokétech to make it even more versatile. Press the R button to try it out. All right. Bye. Oh, so that's how we activate it. Oh, good. I don't have to use... Uh, the touch controls, I can do it with my joystick and the A button. Yeah. Yep. Works right. This is my step counter. Uh, my Pokemon. Alright, so if I want to make it... Okay, I just press R, but how do I get rid of it? Do I keep press the bot? Yeah. Okay, you hold you hold down the the R button to get rid of the team. The Pokemon. You will like condominiums. I remember you can get an item here. Oh, your Pokemon is quite adorable. Here, try to make him hold this quick one. Well, there we go. Let's give it to Luxy. Also, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm just cheating. I'm looking at a Bulbapedia page in here where it says where the items are in Diamond and, and it seems they are in the same place as they are in... in game, so... in the remake, sorry. So yeah, I think I found like everything I could find that uh, could be useful in this town. So let's continue with our, our mission, whatever that was. Let's see what the town map says. Okay, we're right into Orberg, I guess. But before that, yeah, I think there are trainers in here. Hello! Oh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Uh, sure. That was worded weirdly, but all right, lass. Send out your Bidoof. Send out as many Bidoofs as you want. I'll kill them all. I'll beat up your pets and take your money. Ah, it's a good thing a struggle box is a special attack. Oh wow, that Bidoof is level 7? Again, a struggle bug is a special attack. I mean, it's not a bad strategy to lower the opponent's attack and then increase your defense, but in this case, no, it's not working, sorry.
There we go. Sorry, Paul. Oh yeah, I'm carrying a magic card. I shouldn't have battled in the first place. Yeah, sorry. You were the one that challenged me. My dad gave me some Pokemon. They're gonna win for me. Oh, poor kid. I, I feel bad for you, but oh well. Youngster Tyler. Does your dad hate you? Or why would they give you a magic card? That's really mean, to be honest. Like, if you are going to give a, a, a child a Pokemon, give it a Pikachu, or give it a... a, a Pidgey, a Charmander, a Herdier, anything, except a Magikarp. I guess it's one of those parents that don't believe their kids, you know, can take care of a real pet, so they just buy them a fish instead. Good! Starly! Yeah, sure, let's go for Luxie. I'm sorry for the John. I am not tired, I always John. I, I actually slept through the afternoon just in preparation for uh, this recording session. I'm gonna be playing as much as I can from the game. And if I'm fast enough, who knows? I might finish the game in a whole in a one day. Hmm. But they are the Pokemon I got from my dad. Sorry, kid. It is what it is. I just defeated a Starly, I don't want another one. So let's just leave. Really? You are gonna be like that, Starly. It's four against one. Thank you. I'm glad you came to your senses. May I please trouble you for a battle? Of course, yeah, I'm always up for battling. Last Samantha. That's the name of one of my... Uh, a family member, Samantha. Like, the origin of, of her name, like, the reason why her dad named it like that. It's always been funny to me. But it's, you know, a, a one of those family secrets. It's nothing bad, really. It's just uh, something I'm not allowed to repeat. Because who knows, maybe one day someone who knows in my family will be watching and it will not be a good thing to, you know. But yeah, there is nothing wrong with the name, it's a pretty cute name. For a girl, I mean. <laughs> also, you could just uh, like shorten it to Sam or something like that, if, you know, the girl is tomboys or something. I don't know, I, I digress. Well, yeah, I remember. Oh, sorry. I'm still joining. Alright, I guess it's time to put Luxie in front. Oh, you're so strong. Oh, is it already time? I mean, I know bug types evolve fast, but. Okay, I, I guess I wasn't paying much attention to, you know, Freakathon. I think it's my first time using one. The only reason I know I know it uses Fury Cutter is because I've seen it use it before.
It crosses knife-like arms in front of its chest when it cries. It can compose mel melodies at least, so it can improvise. Oh! Speaking of... Here we go, so Fury Cutter. Oh! Power Sub Bug Type moves when the Pokemon HP is low. Didn't he had like another ability before he evolved? What was it? Uh, oh, Shed Skin. Why didn't you keep Shed Skin? That was way better. Oh, well. I mean, at least it can power up like this. The target is slashed with sights or claws. The attack becomes more powerful if it hits in succession. That, that combined with the metronome makes him, you know, a very dangerous Pokemon. Okay, let's talk to the last trainer. There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. Oh. So you weren't a trainer. Sorry, my mistake. Well, there was an antidote in there and that's all we could get. Let's check if there's no items in here. No. Alright, let's continue down. Can we get that Pokeball in there? Yes, we can. Alright, probably is heal. Okay, I think that's all I need from this area, so we can leave. Just checking. Just in case I'm missing something, you know? Now, the only thing I didn't found... Let me check. Okay, I found the Parlay's Heal, the Quick Claw, uh, the old rod, three coupons, the pocket tech. Uh, I think the only thing I'm missing is the potion in between two buildings out of the pocket tech company headquarters. That's what I was trying in here. This is the pocket tech headquarters, right? Yeah. These are two buildings. Maybe if we check from the front. Okay. Oh, but there's this lady here. Uh, can we get from the back in here? No, no. I mean, it's, this is between two buildings, but... Uh, who cares? I already have too many potions. Let's continue. Oh, it's uh, our friend, Barry. It was me, Barry. <laughs> hey, Sina, tell me how you got... Uh, you got a little tougher? Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. I forgot to change Jinx into a trifle place. Oh, well. Your chance by Pokemon Trainer Barry. Uh, uh, it would have been fun, you know, if I if I chose Lucas instead of Don to name my character like Eoborn or like Zoom, so I could use this voice and say it was me, Barry. Okay, ooh, startling. Well, let's test our Fury Cutter, I guess. I mean, I fully evolved Pokemon, so yeah. Now that we have Fury Cutter and we have the Metronome. Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. Yeah, I think it's going to be over this turn because of the Metronome and the Fury Cutter. Yup. Good, good. Uh, well, sorry for, uh, you know, disappointing you, Luxy. This should do it. Sorry again. Also, I need to get rid of that Magikarp. Ah, what just happened? I lost? Yeah, not so, no, not so tough now. Wow, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. 
The first thing to do is take on the other Brook City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna toughen up for that, totally. Bye. Checking for items. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, a Pokeball inside a Pokeball. All right. I'm full of energy because I get power from my Pokemon. Are you a vampire? Maybe he's vampire. Who knows? Junkster Michael. Thundershot! Wait, I think Spark is better, right? Because Thundershot is a special and I think Spark is physical, let me check. Oh wait, I don't have a Spark, this is Charge. Whoops, my bad. I don't know why I read it as Spark. Yeah! Ooh, Subat, so alright, this is going to be easier even. Yep! Easy. Ah, it was a critical hit, oh well. Huh? My poor Bidoof and Subat. Oh, you're not a trainer? Did you know? The first Pokemon appear that appeared in battle is the one at the top of your team list. Uh, thank you. Very, very useful information. I will keep that in mind. Oh, I cannot go up there. Oh, well. Uh, also, what kind of Pokemon are in this area? I haven't checked yet. Come on, give me something. I know you want to. Uh, sure, I'll capture a Subat. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't Inner Focus the thing that uh, stopped you from flinching? Maybe I'm remembering wrong, so that's why I'm asking you to correct me if I'm wrong. Because I asked, uh, uh, when I see the, when I saw the name of the ability, it immediately came to my mind the fact that because I used to use an Alakazam that it had inner focus to stop being flinched, you know, in Gen 3. Did they change that? Gotcha, Suat was caught. Even though it has no eyes, it can sense obstacles using ultrasonic waves it emits from its mouth. No. Thank you. We were always together. I'll show you how we bonded. Uh, oh, I, you're talking about your Pokemon. Okay, okay. I thought you were talking of you and I, and I was like, what? Youngster Dallas. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wait, that's, that's Bonanza. Wrong show. But anyways, ta 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 bonanza, ta 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 ta. Also, don't worry, I'm not at all. I only get that reference because I watch it on The Simpsons. I just like have a a very a very general idea of what bonanza is about. Was it about pioneers? And they were like Indians, like Native American Indians or something like that. Maybe it was about a ranch. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh yeah, just use physical attacks while I intimidate you, sure. Ah, it's got it gets me down. Sorry, Paul. Okay, let's just swap uh, for Platinum because you know Rourke is coming next, uh, and I think Platinum is going to be my only useful Pokemon for that situation. Trainer, while looking for some Pokemon. I mean, you're not even the grass. So, what Pokemon are you looking for? Last Caitlyn. Also, really pretty name, Casey. Also, with a K, really? I don't expect to have a print plot by the time I reach Orc, but hey, who knows? This game just handles, handles experience like it's candy, so... Which is funny, you think about it, because of the existence of rare candies. Oh, wait, but you, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, uh, oh, you're level 4, I guess I can tackle you, well, found you. That's on the wrong, very wrong. Oof. Good thing you, uh, the but you didn't use Absorb. I would have been in trouble. Starly, no. I wanna use a Rosalia, maybe. But I don't know, I, I, I don't wanna use a Budu. I, I like the design and everything, but you know, it's a baby Pokemon. They're a little hard to train and to evolve. Huh, you're finished so soon. So I'd rather just find a Rosalia in the wild, if possible. Because I wanna Roserade. You are neither a Roselia nor a Budu, and you are definitely not a Roserade. Let's talk to this jumpster. Give me a battle so I can see if I'm ready for the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Jumpster Sebastian. Well, with that level of, you know, defense, I don't think so. Sorry. I guess it means I'm not ready for the team challenge yet. Yeah. Get a water type, that should help you with your first gym. I got a nifty king gym bags from the gym leader in Arbrook City. How? Last mod line. Water gone. Oof. Like, you are using a flying type, and the first gym is, you know, a, a rock type gym. I mean, maybe Bidoof has a chance, but it's a level 5 Bidoof, so I don't think so. Doesn't Bidoof, you know, learn water gun or something? I mean, the evolution B barrel is a water type. Well, half water type, so. Kind of makes sense. Kind of does it. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I lost. La la la. Okay, let's go for the item. A repel. All right, that may come in handy, and let's just keep looking to see what's in here. 
More stones, of course, stones. Let's just run, I already have a starly, thank you. Hopefully I can get uh, one of those Pokemon that has the ability to see if the opponent is holding an item and what kind of item is it. Yeah, I think there's an ability, ability like that, right? That way, you know, I can, you know, you know, twice, sorry. I can face Pokemon and, you know, if they have an item, just capture it for the item. Ooh, an Abra! Well, this is unusual. I don't remember Abra being in this area, but oh well. Let's capture one. Not planning on using her or anything, but you know. Yes! First try! And let's see... Let's have another wall encounter to see, you know, if there's something different here. If not, we just do it. He sleep for 18, 18 hours a day. Even when awake, it teleports itself while remaining seated. Oh, that's top level laziness. I wish I could be that lazy. I just assume it. Alright, let's leave. Ooh. I, I like playing with my joystick. <laughs> it's very fun. Oh, look it there! You got a Pokétech! Hmm, you're still pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good, you're a new fellow friend of Pokémon, so let me make a gift this technical machine to you. Ooh, what is it? Each contains Rock Smash. For your information, when you use a technical machine to teach your Pokémon a move, that team will then break, so think carefully about when to use it. I also added a new feature to your Pokétech, Rookie Trainer. It's hidden moves up. Use Rock Smash from your pocket deck and a wild Pokemon will get rid of the boulders on your path. But to use this hidden move in the field, you will need the gym badge from the gym. I'm looking forward to something something. Alright. Ah, here we go. Alright. I'll keep in mind that. We trainers only accept challenges anywhere. That's what we do. We'll accept challenges, sorry. Mm, I'm getting hungry. Hopefully I can get to work fast enough so I can, you know, go to the kitchen and grab some cookies. I could make a pause now, but I'm so close, so I'd rather just finish the episode and take a 10 minute break. Really, you're an electric type and you just tackle. Or was it pound? They are basically the same move. Oh yeah, I'm carrying those three other Pokemon. Ah, mm -hmm. insufficient running race? Yeah, probably. I mean, you had very bad strategies, to be honest. To celebrate me getting through this game, I'm going to battle you. Uh, it's not a very long game. Maybe you came from another side, so I guess it makes sense. You're challenged by Picnicker Diana. Oh, another with you. If it's above level 5, I think I'm gonna swap my Pokemon. Oh, it's level 5. Alright, let's just... I was gonna pound. I don't know why I growled, but oh well. Yeah. Oh, come on! Ah, that's what I get from using the wrong moon on the first turn. Well, I'm almost out of the cave, so... 
and he didn't use uh, absorb so those but you I think yeah they have absorbed don't they I mean it's the most basic grass move I could think of All right, Luxi, you're up. Wah, wah. Well, there's no water to change, so go nuts. Although you may have already done that, so I don't know why I asked you to. Sorry. Well, I guess losing to is something to commemorate too. All right, finally out of the cave. Howdy, trainer. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So I'll show you where the town gym is. You, you don't have to tell me. I already know, yeah, where it is. Oh, huh? there's someone there. And you're just going to shut up? Huh? Oh, it's you, see, now you finally got here. You're slow, like always. You're so slow, the gym leader's long ago now. He said he had to go, uh, oh yeah, to the Orborg Nine mine. I got my batch already, so it's not a big deal to me, but... Okay, let's uh, go to the Pokemon Center, uh, deposit our Pokemon, recover a little... If I remember correctly, we just need to find Rourke and then he goes back to the gym, right? Too bad none of you were holding anything. Yeah. Up ahead, there's a huge mountain that towers above everything. It divides Sino into two distinct halts. That's nice. Okay, according to the Bulbapedia, there should be some items in here. Do you have an item? No. Alright, Stardust. But... There's nothing else in here. There should be uh Where is it? Let's see. Stardust. Oh, the other two items are platinum only, I see. I should pay attention to that. I only gave one step into the cave. Oh, an onyx. Well, I have to capture it now. Uh, let's see my water gone. Kill set. Okay, perfect. You have a story, right? Yep. Excellent. All right, then I can capture you. No problem. Ah, oh, come on! You only have one HP left! Don't be like that! Ouch. What? <sighs> Asshole! Please, just let me capture you.
Thank you. It's not very hard, is it? Just stay in your ball. That's your new home forever. Actually, the PC is your new home forever, but you know. When it travels underground, it causes rumbling and tremors. It can move at 50 miles per hour. That's cool. Ah, uh, X item, so useless. I mean, if they increase, you know, your stats by two stages, yeah, they will be useful, but as they are, nah. Okay, a Geodude, just to make things, you know, work faster, I'm just gonna water gun it. And if it doesn't have sturdy, we're going to wait for one that does. Yeah, it doesn't have a sturdy, alright, next one. I mean, it's almost as fast as running away, and... We get some experience, so, you know, it's better. Everyone who works in the coal mine gives their own Pokemon with them. You may challenge to, you may be challenged to battles, haha. <laughs> There were Pokemon that look like rocks, they sure surprised me. Okay, just looking for Geodudes. Ah, speaking of Geodudes, good. It's a good thing they are, you know, the most regular encounters you can have in here. Come on, sturdy. Uh. Oh. Okay, escape rope. Fine, all ready then. Just a quick battle on my break. Uh, I would, you know, just take the break and not battle, but on the other hand, this is the Pokemon world, so the living conditions are much, much better. Except, you know, uh, for the amount of, like, criminal organizations and death calls there are. And when I talk about dead cults, I mean like, for example, Tingle Attic sounds like a dead cult. And... Team, team... Team Plasma too. And Team Flare, despite the fact that they were like the dumbest ones in the bunch. Oh, bite, perfect, yes. They were technically a dead cult, I mean, they just want to end all life. and reforce it back to whatever they wanted. Mercy, mercy, I cry mercy. No, no mercy, just die. Ah, rock. No, you're not rock. Frog, you're a rock. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move rock smash, get rid of get rid of boulders blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed, so they are out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in my town, you'll be able to do this too. Of course, you have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Oh, bye. More potions. I'm gonna let you in on a secret, I is not my Pokemon to work. But everyone else has their Pokemon, like... Are there some forbidden Pokemon you cannot... No, you have a bad shop like everyone else, so what gives? Ah, it's so weird. Oof. I forgot that part where I haven't recovered in a while. Whoops. Sorry, Mason. Well, aren't you something? 
Okay, before facing that guy, let's recover. Also, like, the hunger is really hitting me. And I had dinner and everything. I met this mashup on Route 207. They are now become my most trusted partners. Oh, you were not going to hit me? All right. Okay, let's just look for the Geodude that we're missing. Perfect. Just we were talking about. Speak of the devil. Come on, I'm sturdy. Excellent. I mean, if you if you happen that you didn't have a sturdy, but you endured the attack, I would capture you and keep you on my team. Because my I, I doubled your levels and you will still you know survive without sturdy. A four time weakness, yeah, that will be pretty suspicious. All right. And now Geodude was caught. Many live on mountain trails and remain half buried while keeping an eye on climbers. No. Alright, let's go to the Pokemon Center and then let's go face Rourke. People up should be, you know, all we need. Okay, here we go, first gym. You know, very simple design. Oh wait, before that. Hey, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to the really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to grass-type moves. Geez, they sure have weaknesses, but don't think they will be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock-type Pokemon with a fire-type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give you. Thanks for listening. And if we read the statue... Yeah... Orbot Pokemon Gym, Gym Leader Rourke, Certified Trainers, Barry. You avoided the long, run, a long way around? Let's see why you do that. Uh, well, because I needed experience and you seem like, like a very good trainer. Youngster, jo jo Jonathan. Jonathan? That's a, a weird name to have. Oof. Ah, perfect. Oh, we only had one? Now I understand why you decided to battle with me. Yeah, you're a pushover. Only those who want to win the uh want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. I mean yeah, that's the whole point. Okay, you have two Jumpster Darius. Hopefully this one doesn't have... Uh, sturdy? Okay, it didn't. Good. Okay, I think I'm getting a little more than Hunger. I'm getting a little dizzy. So yeah, it's a good thing I'm about to finish this. Okay, Onyx. Hopefully Onyx doesn't have that thing. Sturdy. Yeah, clean hit. That was amazing. Perfect. You feel a jumpster there is. Ah, this is humiliating. Welcome, this is the Orbook Pokemon Gym. 
I'm Roar, the gym leader, but one trainer will decide to walk probably with a I am but one trainer will decide to walk probably with rough type Pokemon. Sorry. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll be need to see the toughness of the Pokemon you battle with. Okay, here we go. Ah, the model is really nice. You're challenged by Gym Leader Roar. Okay, your first Pokemon is you. I'm guessing, like, his Pokemon that can have sturdy. So, this one should have sturdy, right? No? Really? You will think so. I mean, it's just one layer of difficulty. It just gives him an extra hit. Onyx, uh, nah, I'm okay, thank you. Ah, Stealth Rocks. It's a good thing I'm not going to change my Pokemon. Ah, you have a Sturdy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Also, you're level 12. I didn't notice that. Oh, and you just a potion. Ah, this is what I get for being cocky. Oh, wow. Oh, well, here we go. Water gone. You're faster than me? Does that make sense? Okay, whatever. You're dead now. Ah, uh, sure. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but who knows? Wait, not defense, girl. Actually, just tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and your last Pokemon, Cranidos. Think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones? I mean, that's what I've been doing, so yeah. I should have given the the metronome to Piplo. I just let him do, you know, the heavy lifting. Yeah, with metronome, he would have been dead by now. No way, not dead, not giving up. Oh, come on, man. Don't be cheap. Excellent. All right, and that's our first team battle. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Also, Platinum almost ev oh, evolves. Yes, forget something to learn back. Wow, I still, I already have Charm, so, you know, it's better. What? That, that can be my buffed up Pokemon! Buff up Pokemon. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give your own gym badge since you beat me, the gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League call badge. Excellent. Okay, the next one is Gardenia. Having the Cold Bash means that you now can use the Hidden Move Rock Smash from your Pokédex. You should also take this too. TM76. Each one contains the move Stealth Rock. This will then inflicts damage on opponents that are switching to battle. And these are the stickers I use. Here, take some. Oh, that's very nice. We need to experiment on, on Seeker lately. Incidentally, a team will teach you to move to a Pokémon instantly. Yes, yes, you don't have to tell me like what I have to do with a team. I know how to do it. Alright, and that's the episode. I mean, so far, so good, I say. Uh, I've been enjoying this game quite a lot, to be honest. And uh, hopefully, you know, the rest of the adventure is going to be as fun as this. So, I'm just gonna take a 10 minute break and I'll be right back. So, anyways, enjoy the video, leave a like, have something to say, comment down below. One more, please subscribe. If this video ending, you can bet it is. So, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.